in this video. We're going to do the mixed review part 7 and this covers problem 16 in the ATIT study manual, the mathematics sections quiz. And that problem in the book talks about a Norman window. Well, we're definitely going to talk about that and we're going to answer quite a few questions here, reviewing some geometry and some money problems. So a Norman window has a unique shape. The lower part is a rectangle or sometimes a square. That's this part we see here. And we have a semicircle on top. Semicircle is a half circle. That's very important to remember. Question A says the rectangular part of the window is 7 feet tall and 5 feet wide. And now we want to find a formula using the given measurements that would give you the area of the Norman window. This is similar to the question that's directly in your study manual. So let's label this picture over here. 7 feet tall and 5 feet wide. So we have 7 feet and five feet. Now I made the seven foot, that's just from here to here because it says the rectangular part of the window. And then we have five feet wide, that's like the base down here. And you may wonder, well, what about the circle? Well, that's going to be, uh, you don't have that information given to you, but we can do a little bit of, uh, not trickery, but if this is five foot down here, we're going to have five foot across up here. So that's very important to understand because when you're dealing with circles, uh, this five feet is actually the diameter of that semicircle. Therefore, the radius, now this is important to understand, the diameter the relationship between a diameter of a circle and a radius of a circle. The diameter is going to be twice as long as the radius. So if we take 5 and we divide it by 2, we get 2.5. This is going to be our radius. And the radius is going to be important to find the area of a circle because we're trying to find the area of the Norman window. So we got 5 foot down here, same thing up here. Well, since we know the radius is 2.5 feet, I'm just going to put a little dot right here in the middle, draw a little squiggly line here, and this little red measurement is 2.5 feet. Now we have enough information to find a formula for the area of this Norman window. So let's break it up into multiple pieces. And if you're following along in your book, you will notice that the, the book, this question, is very similar to what I'm doing right here. So the area of the Norman window, let's do the area of the rectangle first. It does not matter which one you do, but what we have to do is we have to find the area of this rectangle and the area of this semicircle, and we have to add these areas together because we're finding the area of two separate shapes, and we're going to add those two areas together to get the area of the entire window. So the area of the Norman window, what we're going to do first is the area of the rectangle. And the area of the rectangle is length times width, or you could say base times height. But really, we're just going to multiply the 5 times the 7. So 5 times 7, and that's really 5 feet times 7 feet. So this is the area of our rectangle. So I'm just going to little label this uh, rectangle area. Now, let's find the area of the circle. The formula for the area of a circle is pi r squared. So the area of a circle is pi r squared. But what we have to do since we have a semicircle, very important here, semicircle, we're going to take this formula and we're going to divide it by 2. So if we take pi r squared divided by 2, this is the area of a semicircle. What's the pi? What's the r squared? What's the divide by 2? Well, down here at the bottom, it says use 3.14 for pi. But since I'm just kind of making a formula up, I'm just going to use the pi symbol. But when we go to the calculator, I'm going to use 3.14 because on the calculator, on the t's test, there is no pi button. So pi r squared divided by 2. Therefore, we have pi times our radius. Remember, our radius, we said it was 2.5. We want to square the radius, and we want to divide all of this by 2. This is the area of our semicircle. Labeling this, so area of semicircle. Now, what do we want to do with these two areas? Earlier, I mentioned you want to find the area of your rectangle, which is 5 times 7, the area of your semicircle, which is this pi r squared divided by 2. Remember, we have to divide by 2 since so it's a half circle that we're dealing with. And we want to add these areas together. So this is our formula to find the area of that Norman window. 
So cleaning this up a little bit and making a little bit of room, this is the formula, and this is similar to what you will see in your ATIT study manual. Now you may see some parentheses here and there, but if you understand order of operations, we're gonna multiply this stuff together. Uh, we're going to figure this stuff out, and then we add it all together because that's how order of operations work. You multiply, and over here we're gonna multiply and divide and deal with some exponents then we will add those together. So let's grab our calculator and let's get to work. But for this first part here, five times seven, that's just gonna be 35. And this is all square feet. Something back I covered back in the goal-based videos is I talked about you know area is square units, whether it be square feet, square inches. But that's the area of our rectangle. And now let's go to the calculator and figure this out. This is where we're gonna use 3.14 for pi. So on our calculator, we will type in 3. 0.14 times, now we have to take 2.5 and square it. If you don't have an exponent key on the T's test, squaring means you just take 2.5 times 2.5. So we're gonna multiply by 2.5 times 2.5. That's the same thing as squaring it. And then we're going to divide all this by two. So therefore, the area of the Norman window is going to, or the area of the semicircle rather, is going to be 9.8125. Now, I am saying to round to the nearest hundredth, so we could just say 9.81. The one is in the hundredth spot, and it does not go up. It stays the same because of the two. But in all honesty, that's not really a, a nasty-looking decimal. So 9.81. And again, I'm just rounding to the nearest hundred. So if we add all this stuff together, 35 plus 9.81 is going to be 44.81 square feet. That's the total area rounded to the nearest hundredth uh, for this Norman window. Now, I did label all of this information here because when we go to the second part, we're actually, uh, we may have to look at each little piece separately. And this is the total area because we did add the area of the rectangle, 35, plus this area of the semicircle right here. Let's go down to question B. So what we have to do now, we need to replace the glass in both parts of the window. One company will charge you a fixed rate of $5 per square foot. Another company will charge you $3 per square foot for the rectangular section, hmm, and $9 per square foot for the semicircular part of the window. That's this part. And the reason why they're charging you more since the glass has to be a special cut. The semicircle, they have to cut the glass, so they're going to charge you a little bit more for that one. Which is the better deal? So we have to actually do a little bit of math, a little bit of multiplying, and maybe some addition here to actually get these. Uh, one company... So this company here, fixed rate, $5 per square foot regardless of the shape. Well, this is where we can take the 44.81 square feet. That's the total area of that Norman window up there. And they're going to charge you $5 per square foot regardless of the shape. Rectangle, half circle, whatever. So uh, company number one, or one company, I, I'm just going to call that company number one. We're going to take that total area, 44.81, and we're going to pay $5 for every single square foot. Well, we have 44.81 square feet, so we're going to pay $5 for every single one of these square feet that we have. So we just multiply by 5, and that total cost is going to be, well, let's go to the calculator, 44.81 times 5. $224.05, roughly. So around $224, but I'm going to say $224.05. So that would be how much we would pay at $5 per square foot, and we're trying to get around roughly 45 square feet. That's going to be around $224. Now, I don't think on the multiple choice section of the T's test that they're going to try to fool you on decimals like 224.05 and 224.04 or anything like that. The answer should be a, enough of a difference for you to uh, easily distinguish what's right and what is wrong. Now for company number two, or another company, they're going to charge you $3 per square foot for the rectangular section and $9 per square foot for the semicircular part. So they're charging you quite a bit more for the semicircle part and quite a bit less uh, for the rectangular area. So let's see what we have to do here. 
So company number two, we have to look at each individual section. And that's where the way we did this formula up here is actually helpful because we had the 35, the five times seven, that's the area of the rectangle. So we got 35 square feet. This is just the rectangular section. Remember we did the base times the height or the length times the width. So 35 square feet times $3 per square foot for the rectangular section. So let's go ahead and figure that out. 35 times three is gonna be $105. But remember, we have to come back and find our semicircular part too. So this is this other part of the formula that we made up here. And if you recall from earlier, when we took the 3.14 and we multiplied it by 2.5 squared and then we divided it by two, we got somewhere around 9.8125. Um, and then we ended up just rounding that. And I, actually I have it written right <laughs> there. Um, these were our two separate areas. So let's take that 9.81 square feet. That's the area of the semicircular part and let's multiply that by nine because we're gonna pay nine dollars for each one of these square feet. So let's take 9.81, just grab your calculator, multiply it by nine, and we get $88.29 roughly. Now again, we're, we rounded these up here, so these costs might not be exact, but it's close enough, and it's going to be a, enough difference for us to see that one is a better deal than the other. So what we're going to have to do here, since we're, we're paying different prices for the rectangular section and the semicircular section, we found the two separate prices. Let's add these together to get our total cost. So $88.29, we're going to add on that $105, and we're going to have a total of $193. 29. So somewhere around $193 is what you can expect. But clearly we see a big difference. And the point here is that, you know, this company here, they're charging you one fixed rate, $5 per square foot. Uh, whereas this company here, they're charging you a cheaper rate for the rectangle, but quite a bit higher rate for the semicircular section. But it turns out this is the better deal by quite a bit. I mean, we're talking almost, uh, what, about 30 bucks or something like that. So, you know, that's not covered in problem 16 in the study manual, but I did want to cover that with you because you probably will run across an area problem where you have to multiply the area of something times some cost per square foot or square yard or, or what have you. There, there's various examples there. I did cover this also more in detail too in the geometry goal based section over at my website. So feel free to have a look at that. But there you have it, you know, problem number 16, a Norman window. We found some areas. We talked about semicircles, areas of rectangles, and we also threw in a money problem to figure out which one was the better deal. And it turns out again that this one right here is the better deal, the second company. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.